saying nothing. But just kept him now. He had a gun. He was trying to kill me. Terry Carter had a gun. Jim Bob got pyro kills all over the world. Not he gave everybody's MO. He put an MO on Terry. He put an MO on, on Jim Bob. He put an MO on Nah. But I don't get to say nothing. See what I'm saying? So at the time, what was what was Suge and, and, and uh, Terry's relationship like when that shit happened? Was Terry Clay? No, it wasn't Terry Clay. Oh, okay. Terry, Terry was mad at me. When he told him to come in and get that check, yeah, he told, there, he was told no, there was no check to get. But he faked. He you know, faked. Fake. Yeah. I, I talked to Suge. Listen to me. Imagine this, you dog. Know. You just got the piece, dog. You know. I talked to Suge. And that's a lie. He hadn't talked to Q or he hadn't talked to Dre. Dre wasn't going, for sure, Dre wasn't kicking in shit. Maybe Kibo, Q, and all of them worked out something. I don't know. But Dre was like, I'm not giving up a dollar. Fuck him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they telling you, D Dog. You got the bread over there. I call, yeah. Man, man, the legitimate G homie call you like, listen, D Dog. Dre wanted to give you a check right now. You know who's dropping your check, dog? I'm going. Boom. I'm going. See what I'm saying? What? Boom, hating on your check. Well, that's what Terry. Money. Okay, that's I what Terry. Miles to feed. That's what Terry told me. That's a lot of bread, too. Come on, man. They put me. Come on. I ain't like, like, ain't nobody looking at my me. Yeah. How much bread did he tell him? I don't know. But well, it was a cool. It has to be a cool amount. Man, though. it's millions. Wow. Millions involved. But he told sure. Yeah. Wow.
uh, and Terry and uh, several other guys whose names I won't uh, mention uh, doing this recording because they're street cats, uh, tried to offer me money. One of the guys was a, an officer uh, from Compton at one time, as everyone knows, who was Reggie Wright Jr., as well as Dr. Dre, offered me money to lure Shug with Terry Carter to the town's parking lot because they wanted to kill him. Interview, I think with uh, Blast. Uh, Blast, yeah, where he uh, said that he thinks that Dre tried to get him killed. He was talking about at the Chris Brown um, club incident. He was oh, talking, talking about, about oh, he's talking about that he's incident. Talking about, um, oh, when he got shot. When he got shot. Okay. Yeah. Any comment about that? I don't believe it's true. Uh, tried to offer me money. One of the guys was a, an officer uh, from Compton at one time, as everyone knows, who was Reggie Wright Jr., as well as Dr. Dre, offered me money to lure Shug with Terry Carter to the town's parking lot because they wanted to kill him. Interview, I think, with. Uh, Blast, okay. Blast, yeah, where he uh, said that he thinks that Dre tried to get him killed. He was talking about at the Chris Brown um, club incident. He was oh, talking, talking about, about oh, he's talking about that he incident. About, um, oh, he got shot when he got shot. Okay. Yeah. Any comment about that? I don't believe it's true. Uh, tried to offer me money. One of the guys was a, an officer uh, from Compton at one time, as everyone knows, who was Reggie Wright Jr., as well as Dr. Dre, offered me money to lure Shug with Terry Carter to the town's parking lot because they wanted to kill him. Said that he thinks that Dre tried to get him killed. He was talking about at the Chris Brown um, club incident. He was oh, talking, talking about, about oh, he's talking about that incident. Talking about, um, oh, he got shot. When he got shot. Okay. Yeah. Any comment about that? I don't believe it's true. Punk ass, bitch ass, crooked ass cop. My name is Lloyd Lake, aka Tata. Long time ex associate and friend of Suge Marion Knight. Tata, you bitch ass nigga, I'm gonna beat the dog shit out of you. Hey. If I don't speak on it, nobody will. I mean, some things you just got to speak on regardless of the consequences behind them. I'm a death row insider. I know Timmy Rue, Trey, Bob Gotti, Lip Dog, Hen Dog R.I.P., Buntry R.I.P. I know these guys. And they all know Suge. And they all know the same thing that I know, that something's not right there. We cannot allow this guy to keep constantly over and over beating up these artists, producers, and taking money from them. I mean, you cannot run a campaign on bullying and employ a bully as a government. And I'm listening to the same information you guys are going to see when you watch this doc and this clip that's going to play. I'm going off facts. The FBI should not employ these dangerous informants. And the same guy who wanted little Boosie to call T.I. a rat is the biggest rat the world's ever seen. Ta-ta, you bitch-ass nigga. I'm going to beat the dog shit out of you. Hey. The U.S. Attorney I'm investigating death row records and him at the time. If, if that deal was still on the table about giving up David Kerr and, and Longo, if that deal was still on the table, I called the U.S. Attorney for him like he requested. So I need the attorney on record to call me and express what Mr. Knight wanted to do. It was an attorney out of Las Vegas by the name of David Chesnoff. David Chesnoff was known, you know, he. He was a real gangster attorney. He was known for representing mafia figures, allegedly mafia figures and high profile people. And he said, Reggie, you know, I, you know, you know I like Shug and have a lot of respect for Shug, but one thing I don't do is represent rats.
frankly, I have heard that um, he has been meeting with Suge. You know, you know, Suge, Suge's a liar. We all know that. Um, and Suge will tell anything. He's telling his mama right now that he has something to tell on. Uh, you know, like I said, this is a man that cried on the phone to me when he found out he had to do an additional six months. So we all know that Suge's a liar on his mama right now to, uh, to get out of jail. So, you know, of course he's been trying to implicate me. And, you know, now Russell, Russell would, uh, Russell Poole, you know, he's been on that that soap opera for a long time. And so now that him and R.J. Bonds done uh, hooked up Russell Poole and R.J. Bonds, uh, they then got the Shug, and I think Shug, I, I heard the Shug was telling them a story where he's been trying to implicate me uh, that he'll give me up or give information to them when he was supposed to be in jail or whatever, that, that I had something to do with, 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 with shooting uh, Tupac. Or the killing of mm-hmm. Tupac, which and and Biggie Small, which it don't surprise me at all because I know what she's made of, so I know he's a rat, rat at heart, uh, just like Louis Louis Tata um, been saying about him. And for these old niggas talking on the phones or talking on records, you can beat me doing that all day. Yeah, but I guarantee you this. What's up? They sign a waiver. I beat the dog shit out of them. <laughs> And um, the situation with Suge that just took place on the NWA set, I was hoping maybe we could shed some light and some truth on that. You want to help me out? Yeah, I mean, I can tell you uh, what I know, which is um, which is a lot, actually. <laughs> um, but I'm going to keep it brief. Um, what I could tell you is that Bone is doing well. He's recovering from his injuries. He had a basically a truck ran over his entire body and by the grace of God he is alive the truck didn't hit his head uh, it didn't damage any vital organs it's just some bruises some stitching some broken bones but other than that he's gonna be all right Amen. and you know this is this is behind a man that has left the path of destruction everywhere he goes this is about a man who was once the king of the music industry. This was a, behind a man that walks around this town thinking that he is in charge of everything. This is a man who has so much arrogance of everywhere he goes that eventually it was going to come back to bite him and it, and it bit him real hard this time. And I'm, I'm, I just thank God that, that Bone is alive, Bone is doing well, he's healing. And the main thing I want to emphasize is that the confrontation that Bone had with Suge Knight was a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Gang member started punching him through the truck window, admits he tried to grab his gear shift, uh, he tried to get the keys, others began to surround the truck, so he drives off and he's charged with murder. All that stuff that the lawyer's putting out there about he was attacked, he was ambushed, it was five guys, it was four guys. No, it wasn't. It's was one on one. It was one on one. It was one on one with a man that didn't even want to get out of his car. Others began to surround the truck, so he drives off and he's charged with murder. That bone wasn't even supposed to be at that Tams. Driving back to the set, he missed his turn on Parmalee, ends up going to the red light and looks to his right, and he's like, That's Suge's truck. And then he the pulled, and he pulls over there, and he says, "Hey, you want to fight me now? Let's fight me now." And didn't ever get out. He not, he didn't get out the truck not one time. And Bone was by himself in that car. There was no one else with him. There was nobody else back. And Bone was solo. His statement to the police literally says he pulls up on Bullets Road and confronts Shug and challenges him to a fight, cusses him out. Shug leaves. The man follows or chases or searches from one end of Compton to the other end of Compton, where he, I don't know, miraculously just happens to look in the parking lot of Tam's Burger, where he, Mr. Knight is, well, according to the state, where Mr. Knight was literally in the parking lot out of the car talking to four people. We have the video, you know that's a lie. It's a flat out lie. He says he then attacked Suge Knight because Suge didn't see him coming. That's a confession. 
He said, I punched him in the face and I fucked him up. Yeah, well, Terry Carter was actually, he was accidentally run over. Uh, that's the whole tragedy behind this whole thing is that he was so intent on on his conflict with Bone to, to run him over while he was laying on the ground. Uh, he didn't even realize that Terry Carter was standing a little further away. So by the time he ran over Bone, which was a deliberate act, he ends up hitting Terry Carter, which was an accident. You know, and that's something that we had to share here on The Truth About Tupac because it's just unnecessary that innocent bystander, literally in this case, has lost his life. And it's a collateral damage. It just seems to be a spiral effect of many innocent lives being lost. And to the Don Machiavelli himself, you know, we know how much you served for death row. And the irony of creating a company called Death Row and now ending up on Death Row. It is kind of ironic because uh, even though he hit Terry Carter on accident, uh, whenever you kill someone on accident during the course of a crime, the crime was running over bone, which is a felony, uh, you're also charged with the murder. Standard protocol is to charge Cleebone Sloan with a felony murder instead of the victim, Suge Knight. Here you can see Cleebone Sloan and others attacking Suge, trying to grab his keys, trying to grab the gear shift. Instead, Cleebone Sloan is granted immunity. This is the gruesome surveillance video of Suge Knight running down two men with his pickup truck, killing one of them. The video is everything. The video in this case is the whole story. TMZ broke the story in January. Suge goes to a shoot for the NWA movie and there was some sort of altercation. He got kicked out. He says he got a call. From his friend Terry inviting him to a sit down at this burger joint. Suge pulls in and is instantly confronted by this man, Clay Bone Sloan. Bone charges his truck. You can tell there's a fight going on because the truck is shaking and you can see Bone is doing something. Terry comes over, stands near Bone. Shug throws the truck in reverse, knocks Bone to the ground. Seconds later, he guns it, running over Bone and Terry. Running him over in a violent way. Terry died from his injuries. Bone survived question is was he trying to kill these people well Shug could have just driven down the street but instead cuts right why Shug has said that bone had a gun and there were others that had a gun and that if he drove down the road that they might shoot him and kill him police say there are no guns in the video but watch bone a guy comes up takes something from him and puts it in his waistband i think it's a probability that it's gun let's enhance the video Okay, that didn't help. But if Shook can prove he was acting in self-defense, this may not be murder. Sloan tells the police that no one took anything from my hand. So I didn't have anything for anyone to take. We have the video or the pictures showing that the radio and the cell phone were always inside his car. They now changed the story from saying the cell phone was ran over and I never had a radio. Because on the video, you can see the black object oblong object being taken from his hand or his side. That's the gun. He's now saying, well, it's not really a gun, it's a radio. And the reason he's saying that is because he doesn't have any other explanation for what was taken. And his offer is, this is their case. Someone planted that in my car. That's the case now. They're saying, I didn't have a gun and someone planted my radio in my car next to my cell phone even though we have the surveillance video that shows no one planted anywhere in the car. That's their case now. Cops are saying it's clear, you know, what was taken from a phone Sloan right. wasn't a gun, you know? That's what they're saying. Right. You know, does, what are your thoughts on this? You know, it, I guess anyone can have their own opinion, but when's the last time you saw someone reach down and pull something out of the back of a waistband that just happens to be a square object and then slide it in the back of their waistband? Yeah, and then not to be seen again. Right. Yeah. There's also the call, I don't know if it's come out, there's a call when uh, when Carter's family calls the police department asking where's my father's gun. So I mean, it, it's, it's clearly a gun. I think it's clearly a gun. Now, now, does this video that we published, does this exonerate should? I think it does. So it's kind of a, it's a kind of legal limbo situation where he's in where I'm sure his attorney's gonna fight real hard to he's try denied to- denied bail. Yes, he was denied bail because they added the attempted murder on bone. Initially, he was just looking at murder of Terry Carter. Then they threw in the attempted murder against Bone. And it's going to be an uphill battle, a legal battle for him to, you know, a lot of people think he's going to find a way. He always finds a way to reemerge, right? 
but uh, I don't know if he's if he's got the power and the the legal team to to get him out of this one. He's going to prison. Good to see another brother around here. <sighs> yes, of course it is. <laughs> Review. I think with uh, blast the blast, yeah, where he. Uh, said that he thinks that Dre tried to get him killed. He's talking about at the Chris Brown um, club incident. He was oh, talking, talking about, about oh, he's talking about that he's incident. About, um, oh, he got shot when he got shot. Okay. Yeah. A any comment I, about that? I don't believe it's true. Punk ass, bitch ass, crooked ass cop. You're all a bunch of fucking assholes. You know why? You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. So, what I make you? Good? You're not good. You just know how to hide. Hey, Dre, what do you think about Shoot getting 28 years, buddy? I lied. Me, I don't have that problem. Me, I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. So say good night to the bad guy. Come on. The last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this again, let me tell you. 